Welcome to Manila at night. We are here at the Black Nazarene festival, festival if you will. The feast of it's Black Nazarene. Yeah, now I don't actually understand what this festival is beyond I see a lot of uh, certainly Christian affiliation, Jesus on the cross, Jesus with the crown, and there's these lines getting into the stadium that stretch miles, miles and miles and miles uh, of lines. And people are selling shirts, they're selling hats, they're selling bandanas, there's street food everywhere. So our plan right now, really, is to, we're actually going against the line. Hello, hello. <laughs> so we are walking away from like the main stadium. We just wanted to kind of start there to get a feel for the line, but it's miles. Yeah, it could be. Miles long to get into the stadium. Yeah. What they're actually doing in the stadium, I don't know that we can either. Hear speakers and stuff. Yeah, there's announcers, there's a whole on. thing. Yeah. Now, we are staying at the Manila Hotel. Yeah. And the Manila Hotel is on the back end of this whole line. So what we're gonna try to do is get some food, some snacks up here on all the street vendor stuff. Then we're gonna walk back towards our hotel and see if we can't, because we're staying at the hotel, walk in sort of the back door to the stadium because it's, uh, I can't imagine, it's gotta be hours for this line. Yep, yep. To it's get into the stadium. It's the thing to do tonight, so. Uh, it's the thing to do tonight. Now, is this like a, a multi-day scenario? I'm not even 100% sure about that. Uh, but I will tell you right now, it's hopping. It's hopping, and yeah. we just got to Manila, so this is just fun to do. Yeah, it's kind of night sure. night one in Manila, and yeah. I'm telling you, there's got to be thousands and thousands of people <laughs> in this line. Uh, we're going to try to get to some better lights so you can see kind of a little better. I know it's a bit dark on the GoPro here, but yeah, the line, yeah, okay. uh, we're still we're still within the people in the line. You want this? Yeah, maybe so. Oh, that's a little better. Yeah, Forrest. We want to go to the swimming pool. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes. Uh, at our hotel. A little later. Probably not in this video, but uh, we'll definitely hit the pool hard. Yeah. All right. So we are going to work our way. There is Christmas theme everywhere. We're well into January now, but uh, Christmas is uh, up and bumping here. <laughs> yep. Still going. I love it. Still All right. So Go we're going to weave in. Now we're getting to more of the street vendor scene and uh, should be good. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> All right. Touch base with the kids here. Hey, uh, Granite Cedar, are you guys getting hungry? Yeah. Yeah. Anything on your mind? I mean, we saw sauté, we saw corn, we saw all types of stuff. Corn. Saw ice cream. Corn for sure. I'm with you on that one. What about you, Granite? I can go for whatever. Okay, you're pretty open? Right yeah. on. Okay, well, the street uh, vendors, from what I can tell, put the boy down here, they're sort of trickled throughout. I didn't see one real central hub, except maybe this big intersection here. So why don't we head into there? Get some snacks, and again, here this is all still the line to get into that stadium. Uh, hours and hours so oh, of waiting, I think. But first off, we'll focus on food. Sound good? We always have to start. With yeah, food. let's start with food. <laughs> here, everybody. So we're we're thinking we're thinking corn might be our number one choice. Okay, let's find some let's find some corn. I saw corn on the cob. Yes. I saw corn in the cup. Yeah, yeah. All right, so maybe we'll look for corn. Do you have a preference? On the cob. On the cob, okay. Sometimes let's when look. you get on the in the cup, it comes with all types of fun Ooh, toppings. Yeah, so. no, that's true too. I'm not gonna be picky about it. Okay, well here's corn right here. Hey, perfect. Corn of the cob. Look at that. Got lucky. I guess that's our sign. That's our sign. We okay, should Forrest, just that. Okay, Forrest, you stay mama. Alright, how many guys are you thinking? Oh, it's actually in the cup. Hello. Is this the line? Hey. This you buying corn? Yes. Okay. How much does the how much does the corn cost? How much? How much? 35. 35. 35. Okay, for one cup, and they add toppings. Toppings. Okay, so 35, 30, 30? 30. Okay, so 30 uh, pesos, and then you add uh, uh, salts. Okay, do you want one, Cal? Our granite? How many should you get? Two? Yeah, just two. Okay, maybe, uh, maybe we'll get two. Yeah, excellent. Uh, this festival is so big. Black Nazareth Festival. Wow, okay, well, you can see, I mean, it's just a hustle and bustle of, uh, of street food. So I told her, I told her two. Perfect. Okay. Yay, this is gonna be exciting. Boil, this boil, not on the cob, but that's okay. Yay! So it looks like, you know, I'm seeing the boiled corn. Some kind of a cheese powder is what I think. Okay, there's one. Go ahead, Cedar. And you dig right in, girl, it's probably hot. Just be careful that way. Granite, why don't you take number two and we'll, we'll kind of share them that way. So I'm seeing, uh, I think it's a cheese powder. 
Ooh, look at there's a creamy cheese too. Let me try. My friend Yeah. There we go. Got oh, all white. Oh yes, got some lights. So it's like a sweet cheese. It's okay. like a sweet cheese and maybe butter. I think I see butter. Like uh like when you get the cheese balls in Southeast Asia, they're sweet. Nice. And cheese. Chorus, you want to try some of the corn? You're getting hungry? Take a look by the corn. You get more? All right, well, more for us. More for us. Sure, sure do. All right, so this is the corn. Yeah. That's nice. Sweet, crunchy. You know, buttery. I was calling that a cheese powder, but I don't think so. It's like a sugar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It has a real a real sugar flavor to it. Yum. Yeah, remember, we still have to pay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't skip it on paying. So it's almost like a sweet corn with sugar. Is what I'm tasting. That's nice. I, I still get a cheese taste. Yeah. Maybe it's a butter. I don't know. Of course you want a little corn? No. Okay. okay. All right, so that would be uh, 60 uh, pesos for these two little corns. Off to a good start, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. All right, very nice. Yum yum. Thank you so much. Yum yum yum. All right, so just a little further down the, uh, the the food way, you come across all the strip of food vendors, but this guy in particular selling mangoes. Yeah. What do you think? So this so mangoes with a uh, and, and someone told us this is a, like a shrimp paste. So why don't you start that out, Cedar? Uh, you can use the shrimp paste or not. Totally your call. But there it looks like a variety of mangoes. You've got these bigger ones, and you got these little teeny ones. So cool. Yeah. This All right, let's let's try them out. Yeah, Forrest. I see a hot dog. Oh, you want a hot dog? Okay, we're not gonna get that hot dog. We're gonna get you a hot dog from another vendor. We saw a guy making them. All right, Granite. Why don't you hold this like that, and then you guys can start digging into that mango if you oh, want. Yeah, I'm gonna grab one of those. How is it? So sour. Your face says sour. Woo! Yeah, sour. Wow. That's why you put the paste and the salt on it. That's a mega sour. Um, green, green mango. I'm gonna attempt to uh, Are you gonna do the thing? get in with this chili paste here. All right. It's hard because it's in its own little baggie. Okay, so how do I do this? Okay, it's actually pretty easy to untie. So we're gonna see if this shrimp paste, as he called it, yeah. counters the, uh, the tartness of this mango. What is it called, Cal? I think Bago. Bago? This this called Bago? Yeah, Bago. Bago. Bagong. 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 Shrimp face. The word for shrimp, I have to learn all new Okay. Words now. <laughs> so a shrimp paste yeah. bite. But there's also this. Wow. Is this salt or sugar? Salt. Wow. That is a Actually, like, <laughs> Whoa. A very sour shrimp paste. Like I get, I mean, let's sour from the mango. That shrimp paste is mega salty. Granite, you want to give a bite? No, it's good. Okay. Mommy, I think there's you, um, salt with a little mommy. chili in it too. Right? Mommy, yeah, so you can add that to it too. Mommy, give me your. Did you try it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go for it. Let's open it up. Cedar, do you want to get in on a little teeny taste sample of the shrimp paste? You're a brave girl. Okay, here we go. Dude, there you go. Shrimp paste. <laughs> so so it's a different flavor i mean like i've never really considered putting like a shrimp paste on a mango before but it's something unique i'm not gonna put the shrimp paste on but i'll put the little salt on it oh is that salt or is that sugar i think it's Ooh. it's salt oh a salt okay it looks like there's a little red chili in there so okay. i don't know if it's spicy right. or not but. so the, the mango comes with some sides mm-hmm oh it's kind of good with the salt actually okay it, it takes it away counters. a little bit of the sour yeah nice nice Yes. I'll try some salt. You want to try some of the salt on the mango? Yeah. Just a little bit of salt on there. A little salt goes a long way. It might be a little, <laughs> a little too much, sorry. Mm -hmm, that's better. What about the sour? Less, less sour? Mm hmm. Nice. Sour. Just make sour candy. Ah, uh, it kind of gets you. <laughs> All right, so stop number two the mangoes, the shrimp paste, the salt, the whole nine yards. Uh, all right, we'll venture on uh, down the road. Oh, sir, I'm sorry. How many peso? 50. 50 pesos for the one bag. Up next, we have a uh, something I did not expect to see in the Philippines, but a hot dog stand. So they sell them um, hot dog on a stick with the bun and the special sandwich. Forest. 
Do you want the you want the hot dog on the bun or you want the hot dog on the stick? Oh, you want stick bun. or the bun? A bun. A bun. Okay. All right. Hello, sir. Can we have one hot dog on a bun with uh, just ketchup? No, no mayonnaise. Just ketchup. So those things are some snappy looking dogs. I've never seen them that color. No, and, and they're pretty big too. They're, yeah, they're, they're they're the big boys. I'm getting a flashback to our Iceland. Well, except those are way bigger. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, I was just thinking about Iceland hot dogs and here we are in the Philippines. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, so the buns, it looks like they're kind of dried. They're not steamed or anything. This guy's frying them up here. 25 pesos for the hot dog. It's a full team though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that looks like tomato ketchup. Okay, let's see. Oh, a little cheese. Interesting. Nice. Cheese. Yeah, yeah. So, cheese and ketchup. What do you think, Cedar? Cool. Yeah? It's doing for us? Okay. All right. So, he ended up adding cheese to it. Um, kind of fun. You want a little cheese bite for us? Oh, yeah, Keju. Yeah, Keju. This kid, like, oh, thumbs up. I wonder if he'll go for a bear, he goes. Is it hot? Oh, it's a little cardboard. Uh, Granny, can you pull that forward for me? It's a team effort. Team effort to make it. Yeah. Team effort to serve Eat it. it. <laughs> hot? All right. What do you think, Forrest? Right. Yummy? Thumbs up? So ketchup and cheese, that's the secret. You can see yeah. the hot dog, it's much more of like a, a ground meat versus like a, the pink slime, you know, where they make them US hot dogs. Uh, so this one's much more milly and pretty good. Of course, you like it. it. What kind of meat is it, do you think? Uh, I suppose beef, but I'm not 100% I'm not sure. Yeah. Could be chicken. Brandon's gonna take a try. Going for a bite on the hot dog? I mean, that yeah. bright red color. It's hot. It's hot and tasty. Oh. Temperature hot or spicy hot? Temperature, not spicy at all. Okay. Still. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Nice. So hot dog is a hit. Yeah. Ooh, you the horsey? 25 pesos. So yeah, awesome. Yeah. So the hot dog, yeah, totally uh, recommend that one. 25 pesos, that's a great And we'll head off further down the road and see what else we can find. The Baba Shrug Balloon. Oh yeah, all types of little swag up there. Nice, okay. <laughs> The next dish tonight, I have no idea what this is. It certainly is some kind of a soup broth, noodles. What, what is this dish called? Porridge. Okay, so rice, chicken? No, beef. 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 Okay, how much does this cost? 70. 70. 70. Can I have one bowl, please? Just like, the, like these guys, just one. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that looks nice. Rice? Rice. And beef. And beef. Okay. Ah, oh, I see. So he serves it separately. So you get your rice bowl, you get your beef bowl. Beef. Yeah, very nice. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, and then you add all this. This chili? Chili, pepper. What's this one? Onion. Onion garlic. This is garlic, okay? In here. So garlic. Onion, a little pepper. Okay, Raina, you want to step up and try some of this? Sure. So this is a beef soup, and it looks like certainly some hearty pieces of beef in there. That might be fat. I'm not sure. Is that? But I added some seasoning. So I think what I'm seeing these guys do is you're adding this into the soup. Should we do that? Yeah, sure. Okay, maybe I'll just pour it. Some of the broth. And we'll get some of the meat. Okay, something like that. Yeah, we're building it. Now there might be a bone in there. I'm not 100% sure, Granite. So you wanna go for just the flavors? Certainly you're welcome to grab some of those beef pieces if you prefer. It's like sweet and savory. It's like really good. Okay. Flavors. All right. All right. Spicy? No. I, I've noticed some food here that at least what we've tried thus far has not been all that spicy. Cedar, you want to try some of this? Kind of beef soup style? The oil marinade. Granite said it was uh, sweet and spicy. Or sweet and savory. It's like a sweet sour chicken. Yeah, so a little of the broth. 
Into the rice. What kind of flavors are you getting? Beef. Yeah, beefy. Rice. Um, some pepper. Okay, getting the peppery flavors. Nice, very good. All right, well, I, I can't wait any longer. I'll jump in, grab some of the beef pieces. Into the rice. Man. So I like a hearty beef stew, really. Is it beef? Yeah, it's a beef soup broth. You can certainly, it tastes like beef broth, really rich, mm -hmm. like a hearty flavor. Nice. And the rice is just kind of a side. And what I'm seeing people do is scoop the soup into the rice, something like this. Nice. <laughs> and then what do we have here? Chili, pepper, garlic, onion. Oh, nice. Right down the line. I might add a little chili powder. Yeah. It's not so spicy. All right, maybe that'll spice it up a little bit. So again, you got the broth, you got the rice. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Uh, guys, you want anyone want any more of that? Yeah, have at it, Granite. So, Cal, yeah. I was just reflecting like the Filipino street food. I mean, now this is our first night of adventure. In our first street. So. But. Overall, I've noticed it's not so spicy. It's not like kicking my pants or, you know, we're like, whoa, they're so blazing. And it's not like, not like that. No, and, and some of the toppings that you add on are always chili. Like when we were with the, the mango, it was the shrimp and the salt. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's good. Uh, some places you go, you get chili and salt on your mango or your. Yeah, uh, yeah, the chili salt. Yeah, so cedar going back for more. Yeah, this is just like a hearty tasting, like a stew, really, is what I would call it. Yeah, nice. So the price for this dish, 70 pesos, I believe. So we'll uh, we'll pay this. But I am going to try a little bit of that, of that fat just to kind of see how that goes. Mm. It looks like you can get it with noodles as well. Yeah, that got, one, another guy over here has got another guy over here has got noodles. So that fat piece totally melts like butter. Oh it's kind of nice. Probably shouldn't eat too much of that, but it is really, really good. Okay, so you can see a very popular stall. Lots of people. Uh, hello! <laughs> Philippines, everyone! Okay, so we'll uh, we'll spend a minute knocking this off. And uh, hey, and we'll be on our way. This guy caught our eye here selling uh, crispy chicken skins. So we're going to stop here. Uh, 20 pesos. One little bag of the chicken skins. Hello, sir. Uh, 20. One, one bag. One bag, yeah. Just this little bag of chicken skins. Hello, how are you? What's your name? Abby. Abby, nice to meet you. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, guys. Some fried chicken skins. Just little fried chicken pieces. Is it just the skins? Yeah. Oh, nice. Like the best part. You want a little chicken bit first? No. Nice right, hold now. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Trade you. Fried chicken skins. Whoa. Crispy. Wow. <laughs> it literally is fried chicken skin, as advertised. So greasy, fried skin, delicious. You're not gonna beat that. Crispy. Wow. Yum. Yeah, for me, I need fried. Onion. Yeah, fried onion, fried tofu. <laughs> Mommy. Fried tempeh. Look at me. Mama, it's a balloon. Mama, Forrest was a balloon. Forrest, you want a yeah. chicken skin? Chicken. Forrest, focus, buddy. You want focus. a chicken? <laughs> no? All right, well, just a little stand. I mean, this guy's got them all piled up right there. So, what do you think, guys? Fried chicken skins, a little hit? Yeah, can you hold that for a second? I'm going to reach in there and grab one. Yeah, it's almost like a pork rind, honestly, but chicken skin. Mm. Yeah, that's not bad. You know what needs though? A little Tabasco. Yeah. Needs like a dip one. That's the one. The one thing that I, I would. I, I'd want to dip that. A little like Frank's hot sauce or something nice like that. Mm. Okay. So fried, crispy chicken skins. That's good. How do you say delicious? 
Yummy. How you say yummy? Yummy. No, no. How you say delicious? Delicious. Okay, okay. Well, in English. All right. I want to learn in Filipino, though. All right. Well, either way, a nice little stop. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll settle up with the man and we'll uh, kind of continue on. Another stop is the ice cream man. Uh, what do you call that? Chin. 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 Servetes. Servetes. Chin. A uh, very popular ice cream. Okay. Purple. What, what flavor? Uh. Fruit? Ube. Oh, blueberry? Ube, yeah, and then avocado. Avocado? And then uh, cheese. Okay, cheese. Ooh. Which one do you think you want, Cedar? Um, blueberry. Blueberry? Can we have one? Blueberry small. Yeah, yeah, for her. Blue what, yeah, just one? Purple only. Purple, purple. Forest one set, too. Okay, you want purple forest? No. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. It's like the perfect size ice cream. That's perfect. Great. This one? Of course, you want purple? No, okay. I want blueberry. Blueberry, one more. Small? Yeah, purple. Granite. Do you think you want some ice cream? Yeah. So there's blueberry, there's avocado, avocado, or there's cheese. I'll take avocado. I'm kind of tempted to get a little cheese. Okay, Forrest? And one avocado? Oh, yeah, that's green. That's hard, hard to see from the light, but yeah, that's green. What does it taste like? Alburado. Hey. Alburado. Hey. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Got a little one, nice two, color. Two. Okay, Cal, should we get a cheese? The yeah. split? Okay, oh. one cheese, small. So that's five, I, five, four ice creams. Four ice creams. All right. Okay, thank you, sir. So this is cheese flavored, as I understood it. Yes, it's good. Oh, sweet cheese. Yeah, sweet, sweet. I guess sweet cheese. I'm gonna make a pass because the 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 Marcel. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. How much? Twenty each. Then eighty. Twenty, forty. Twenty, forty, six, eighty. Eighty. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, so it looks like things are starting to shut down a little bit. Um, Kelly, you hold that. And uh, 80, 80 for the, the four ice cream, 20 each. So I was kind of a, uh, a, a scoop and go. It's just about eight o'clock and the man's off. Some, uh, looks like the, the security officers are starting to kind of push people on. Yeah. But know. this is good. Yeah, cold. Yeah, do you get cheese off of this? I get sweet. No, I get more like a cream, almost. Like a dairy. Oh yeah, but that's not good. But not, not cheese. He may not, he might not admit cheese. He might admit like, like dairy. dairy. So that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking on this one. Yeah. Mm. Okay. That's nice. So we got to the kids for their review. Cedar, how's uh, blueberry? Delicious. And is it in fact blueberry? Are you getting that, that blueberry flavor? Not really blueberry, but it's like the sweetest kind of. Ah, oh, so nice. Yum, yum. Forrest, how's your ice cream, big boy? It tastes good and it tastes different. Yeah. It tastes good? Yeah. It's and cold? It, and it tastes different. Yummy. Yeah, tastes different? Yeah. Mm. Alright, Granite, Mr. Avocado Guy. Oh, yeah. Eight, it's almost 8 o'clock. Okay. My, my favorite flavor is avocado ice cream. And the reason I like it is because the texture, but this one doesn't really have the texture. Like, it's more sweet because, like, normally avocado ice cream is, like, spiky. This <laughs> one's, like, soft. And nice. Sweet. You know, our this first time trying avocado as a sweet yeah. ice cream was uh, in fact in Jakarta. Oh, so it's yeah, a very, yeah, yeah Indonesia, Philippines, it's a very popular, avocado is a huge sweet or dessert fruit, and if you will. Right? Yeah, 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 I think so. Oh yeah, we've had it with chocolate. Oh, good catch, saved yeah. it. <laughs> Save your day. All right, can I take a little bite of this one, Granite? Yep. Avocado. Wanna try cheese? Mm. Mm. Avocado, I'm, I'm getting avocado yeah. on that. Again, very sweet, very tasty. Yummy. You like that one too, Forrest? Okay, so I'm using kind of the, the phone flashlight, so it's not the best illumination, but okay. 20 pesos for this, those little ice creams. Perfect. No, that's, a, that's a winner. That's a winner. Yeah, you gotta, get, you gotta save a little room for ice cream. Okay, so we'll uh, kind of see. I mean, again, it does look like, well, it doesn't look like everything's shutting down, just like certain spots. Maybe security goes through and 
moves people on or like who's to say. Yeah, there's still oh, vendors like corn ahead. and all types of stuff. But either way, the ice cream uh, is uh, really nice. Yeah. A little street meat saute, if you will, uh, right here. And so you have uh, this liver. Hey. What is this one? This is, uh, that's gotta be tripe. Chicken. Okay, chicken. In, in, innards. Innards, yeah, the inner, so the intestine lines, maybe. 10 pesos, 20. This is 20 for one? Okay, so maybe, let's start with one. Uh, liver. And then, you fry, or are they ready? So ready. Ready, so okay, go. okay. Yeah. And then what do you do, dip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Spicy, not spicy. You want non-spicy dip, granite? Yeah. Okay, I just, in? Yeah. Okay. Bloop, 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 bloop. Cool, I'll try one with spicy. All right, there you go. Mr. Granite, liver. That's really good. Nice. This is the sauce, like pickled. Oh, is it? Okay, I'll take one. I'm gonna go one in spicy. I love this. You just dip it right in there. It's all like I see lemon, I see chili. Okay, I got a little, little lady here. All right, we try this one. Oh, that is good. You know what? I can. I can taste that it's liver, but honestly, that that pickled marinade or whatever that is is really good. The liver is so tender. See there? You want a bite? It's a bit. It's called. It's the liver, so it's a little different texture than maybe what you're thinking for steak. I dipped it. It's is it sour? It's from that that it's from that pickled uh, that pickled sauce there. You like it's it? Really good. Do you do you want one your own or do you just wanna have that one bite? Yeah. Just you just just the one? Okay, okay. Do you want more? Good? Okay, alright, so. Mmm. That's good. Hi hey, sweetie. What do you think, Grant? That's a good spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. Uh right, put my stick here. <laughs> this is great. Sweet, yeah, spicy. That's, spicy. Spicy. that's nice. So cedar, do you want it? one? Not so fine. The, oh no, okay. This is the intestines so and the liver, chicken. You're good. Yeah. Do you want to try the intestines? Or are we oh, we good? Okay. Settled. I'm really good. All right. I'm cool. Yeah, the liver. You know, sometimes I can't do liver all that much, like but that was pretty good. Yeah. Just yeah, I can tell that it's the liver from the flavor, but uh, I same with that vinegar dip. That's not, and you just take your stick and go bloop right inside. So it, it was just uh, vinegary, not spicy. Or uh, well, mine was spicy. It was okay. almost like a pickle brine. Okay. Yeah. But it had it had a uh, lemon, it had chili, it had garlic, the whole thing, vinegar. That was good. So that was uh, twenty pesos each. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Forty pesos for uh, the liver here. Oh, little sweet girls begging for money and for kind of sad. But all right, all right, moving on. Another street food opportunity here at the festival, and we have a variety of nuts. So peanuts and chili, garlic. And this one, salted with garlic, but skin's on, so different, different. Ooh, ooh chili. chili. Chili, garlic, nice. skin. Ah, uh, what are those, those are, those are, um, uh. Are those beans? No, they're, uh, chestnuts. Chestnut? What do you call that? Wohan? I think it's a chestnut. I might be wrong. Oh, it's yummy. Yeah. It's a bean. Oh, no, it's not a chestnut. Some kind of bean. Yeah, some kind of bean. Oh. All right, which ones do you want, Cal? Are, said, are these peas? Beans. Those are little peas. Yeah. See, do you like those yeah, with the garlic? I might like these. Okay, maybe uh, one, one. So just these little bags, 20 pesos each, I believe. Yeah, those are, uh, that's pretty good. Thank you. Boris, you want peanuts? No, I want your mommy. Cheese fish. Cheese fish. Yeah, Forrest, a fan of the econ, but uh, I didn't see any fish yet. I saw some squid. No, I said cheese fish. Ah, okay. Cheese fish ah, cheese fish. Okay, I'm on. I'm on the right page. She's talking about goldfish crackers from the snack box. All right, all right. Well, we'll head that way in a little bit. I think everyone's getting about towards the end of it. Can I try? It's so good. Was that the onion in it? Oh, that's good. Whoa. Yeah, salty. Yeah. Garlic, not onion, garlic mm. yeah. That's nice. It's really nice. Yeah, that's really good. I was really a little good. bit worried because I saw all types of meat on a stick, but I wasn't sure. There was no tempeh that I saw and no tofu. 
Mm -hmm. So when we saw the corn, we're like, yeah, let's jump on the corn, and now we have the peanuts here. Yeah, okay, so there are some veg yeah. options. For sure. Uh, you know, I think there's probably more veg options than what we saw. Yeah. I just, uh, it just the, seemed the like we kept bumping around the uh, the meat stuff. Yeah, so we'll keep Local our eyes open. Made. We got time. Yeah, all right, so these are uh, 40, 40 rupees, or right, peso. Peso, 40 peso. All right, very nice. We are now just right outside the festival grounds. Unfortunately, they, you have to have a mask to get in there. None of us brought masks, but you can see, I mean, right from here, I mean, the center stage is just there. The music's playing out these big speakers. Uh, you can see Jesus carrying the cross. Oh, the next song's starting. So you get the idea, man. This place is yeah. pretty great. And it's super calm and chill. There's thousands of people here. Yeah, not a lot of like high pressure sales stuff. No. Nice. Yeah, so the food was good. The show's awesome. We got all these like people camping out right here. So, you know, yeah. it's awesome. Yeah. It's just to find this by chance, it's great. And the temperature here is perfect. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Not, uh, it's not it's cold. cold. Just right. It's just right. Guys, what you think of the street food? Yeah, it's yummy. Yeah, it's good food. See, you know, we're on street food. No. Yeah, so anyway, it was great. Um, what, a, what, a, what a first night in Manila. Great. All right, everyone, hope you enjoyed that look at the, uh, well, really the festival and the street food and kind of all the processions involved uh, for, such a, for such an awesome event. All right, everyone, we'll see you in the next episode.